Hi, I'm Joe Connolly. Gabe Shaulian of Blue Fountain Marketing consults IBM and Disney on their marketing. But he really loves small businesses because he started as one himself. Here's Gabe with some ways you can get more response to your marketing. You have a fantastic website with a ton of marketing information, which we'll get into in a little bit. But tell us two or three or four things that smaller businesses can do to increase their marketing clout, Gabe. Absolutely, and I'd like to say, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, Blue Fountain Media started off as a small business itself. I started the company, I grew it organically, there was no funding, so I understand the pressures that business owners face uh, when having to make decisions on where do I spend my money and is this gonna bring me results? Yeah. Now, there are some advantages a small business has that a big business does not. And uh, let's start with what those could be. The first thing I tell people is, you know, if, you, if you're a mom and pop shop and you're doing e-commerce, this may sound funny, but I do not recommend you to have an e-commerce site. Having an e-commerce site comes with a lot of overhead, a lot of time, maintenance and exp expenses. I suggest that you have a landing page, a nice website landing page where you could talk about the products and everything, but you keep your store on Amazon.com. And be sure you optimize that store. Reviews help if you have products, as much information on those products as you can. Another thing you should do is make sure that when you have a site, your site is responsive. What does that mean? It means the size of your website will adjust to the screen, whether it's a computer monitor, a desktop, or, or, or an um, iPad, or a mobile phone. More than 50% of searches today start on a mobile phone. You don't need a fancy site. You need a site that provides the basic information. On a mobile phone, have your phone number easy to read and clickable. You know, have a simple menu. And being a small business owner, you know what really helps is to have a video of you, not a Hollywood produced video. We're talking about, take your iPhone and shoot a nice video of yourself. Tell people about your business. You know, your audience will really enjoy that. You can't have somebody from a big company doing this. That's where a small business advantage comes in. People want to hear the story of the founder. And that really helps create a connection between your brand and the audience. So, give us some more. Those are good ones. To give us, I love that idea. What's another one like that? The video I'll tell another thing you should do if you're driving traffic to your site is you have to implement Google remarketing. Remarketing is easy to do. Remarketing uh, is very effective. What is remarketing? If you ever go to a site and then leave it and go somewhere else and you see the banner coming up, that's called remarketing. You don't pay to see that. On Google remarketing, you don't pay for the impression. That's free. I love it. You don't pay to, to, for impression. You pay per click. And the clicks can be as low as a dollar or two. Google makes this so easy. I mean, if you just go type in Google remarketing, they have videos on it. You could do it yourself. If you're not sure what to do, I wouldn't, for, for example, suggest you go into an agency like Blue Fonts Media and try to hire them outright. That'd be expensive. But you can go to an agency like that and hire them for consulting, a few hours consulting session where they could look at your business and tell you how to drive maximum value. That means how to drive higher conversions, a lower click per conversion, and just making the most out of your dollars. One more thing small businesses must do, and if you own a store, you may appreciate this. You ask a store owner what products are selling, and they will tell you which product on what shelf sells at what time of the day. Ask him, what pages on your site do your visitors go to? What is your bounce rate? Bounce rate means someone came to your site and they left it. It's like someone walking into your restaurant and leaving without buying anything. They couldn't tell you. No clue. No, you need to install Google Analytics. It's free. It's easy to install. It could take a developer 15 minutes to install it. And they will, you need to monitor, and it's easy to do if someone shows you how to do it. What pages people came on? Did they leave right after they come on that page? You know, how long do they spend on that page? Are they converting? This will tell you how to make your site more effective. And as we go further and further into the digital age, a website becomes all the more critical. I'm so struck by your website 
We've done the story many times. You can't be afraid to give information on your website because some people are afraid, oh, the competition or the client is just going to take this information for free. Obviously, you don't feel the way. It is one of the most marketing information-packed websites I've ever seen with your before and afters, with your recommendations to put videos and emails. So obviously, you're not afraid to put out ideas on your website for free. No, not at all. In fact, we have 180,000 followers of our blog who are in the marketing and design industry. And uh, it's why our website ranks very well. And you know what? If somebody wants to do it on their own, they're welcome to. If you share your thought leadership with somebody, they will most likely appreciate that. And they'll say, that's the person I want to work on my project. That is so well said and so interesting because as you rattled off all these ideas, I was thinking to myself, boy, this is who I would want to hire to oh, advise me, even though I could have written them all down and gone done them myself. It's very right. effective. Yeah, you don't have the time to do it. No. That's, that's, that's what it comes down to.